Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. This is part 9 of online shopping cart project. In our previous part, in part 8, we have discussed the changes that we have done to this entire project and the updated shopping cart flow. And also we have integrated the small small changes which we have done to our existing code and we have discussed those code changes. Now in part 9, we are going to discuss the design for products and categories, empty cart and order place successfully message. So let's run the project. So in this video, we are going to discuss the design of this panel, this products panel, this empty cart panel and the panel which is displayed when we place the odd successful order. So we are going to cover four panel designs. As we have discussed in our previous videos till this point, here we have a table. Inside this table, which is center aligned and the style one is applied on this, we have three table rows. The last table row is already discussed it's about the footer in this footer the only change we have did we have done is we have included this track your order status so we have included this hyperlink and the target is set as blank and the link page is redirected as track your order dot aspx the second last tr <coughs> contains two panels first is empty cart and another one is PNL order placed successfully. The column span for this is 2. So the empty cart, the empty cart is nothing but a panel uh, which is initially visible, set as visible equal to false. Inside that panel, it, con it contains a div with center align equal to text align equal to center. And uh, then we are uh, inserting a lot of break statements. After the break statements, we are inserting an image and that image is a part of images folder. Let me show you. In images folder, we have an image which is empty shopping cart. So this image we are going to include here and this is this panel is displayed when the products in the shopping cart is zero. The coding for this we are going to discuss in the next videos. So the design for this empty cart is pretty simple. The width is 500 and we are setting the image URL. The next is PNL order placed successfully. This panel is displayed just below the empty panel and as for the empty cart, this the visibility is set to false and this also contains a div. Um, apart from the div, it con contains um, an image which is uh, also kept in images folder happy shopping.jpg the width is set for it there's a break label inside the label we are placing it as order place successfully and the few messages like transaction details are sent at email id provided by you these are static these are not going to change the only thing which we are going to change is the transaction number the transaction number is generated after the order is placed successfully and it is displayed in this label and we have also included the same tracker order no, hyperlink over here and the display text is a little bit different track your transaction details here so this was simple plan pnl order place successfully panel so in this table we have done with the second two table rows now the only table row remaining is the table first first table row the first table row contains the most important things it contains two tab table data as you can see pnl products and my card so this is the pnl products and here only we are displaying the pnl my card another one is this the another td contains pnl categories and checkout form so this categories when we go in in the my card this pnl categories is panel is replaced by the customer details so we are going to discuss now 
about the design of products and category empty cart and order place successfully we have already discussed so now we are going to discuss this design of products and the product categories so this view we are going to discuss the, the next view which is this one products in your shopping cart and customer details we will discuss in the next videos so this table table row contains two td both are having style 2 and vertical align is set we equal to top and align equal to center this is having style 2 and this is having style 3 let's go to the top for style 2 and style 3 for style 2 have a width, width of 633 text align left and for style 3 we have 257 pixel as the width and text align as center Okay, so first PNL categories. This panel is part of this one. It's a pretty simple panel. It contains a data list. The data list is having only this is the data list. You can get this data list from the toolbox. In the toolbox, we have a section called data, and inside the data we have a data list. So you can drag and drop it here. Then you can go in the edit template in the edit template there are many templates like alternating template selected edit template so you select the item template inside the item template what you can do is you can place and see we are here inside the item template inside the item template we can place a link button so you can get the link button from here in the standard toolbox we have the link button drag and drop it here and give it some name like LBTN category and right click on it properties and here we have a like event section in the event click you can click generate this click event so click on it and it will generate this empty click event so this coding we'll discuss later on so first we'll discuss the design once this is done you can end editing template so it will look like this now if you are concerned with the design how it looks there are many formats for design i have selected colorful classic whichever you want you can take autumn brown sugar lot of there lot of things are there so this design will get you the footer style the health the fo uh, head footer style header style selected item style all those things now the, the only important thing is the link button we have given the ideas l between category we have run it server now here we want to here do are two things. First is the text. The text contains the category name. This category name is nothing but we in the shopping cart we have tables. In tables we have category table. This we have already discussed in our previous videos. Here we have the category name. This category name, this entire category name should match with the text inside the eval function category name and another one we have the category id this name category id should match the eval function of the command argument so we will discuss how, why we are using this command argument this text is only for the displaying purpose because when we it is click on this it is laptops mobile painting in colors so all this text are only for display purpose so this scroll bar auto height border color this you can set and this looks pretty much simple so how we are getting the categories from the database table category and binding it here we will discuss it in our next video part so the category is done now we are going to discuss the design of this products panel products panel is here the products panel we have some set properties like scroll bar equal to auto we have given some height border color and border style and border width this product panel also contain one data list the data list for this data list we have set as the id as dl products then the repeat column equal to three because here we see only three one two three and the next fourth one goes in the next row 
then we have font overline this this all these properties are for design you can set what you see in this video or you can set the way you want then similar way here also like we discussed in the pnl categories here also we have an item template okay so let's go in the design view uh, how to get this data list from the toolbox we have a data section from the data section you can get a data list drag and drop it here you will see an empty data list then go go on the smart tag edit template in the edit template you will find an item template field there are many you have to select the item template in the item template you can design this tabular structure so this is nothing but a table so you can get a table from here insert table and whatever stuffs you want like one column one row the width pixel anything you can set so this is nothing but a table so this table is having some border so let's let let me wind it up it has got four rows four table rows and the cell spacing some class i have set border i have set the class is style 4 style 4 is like width 185 and text align center then we have four table rows first table rows is nothing but a product name then we have an image then we have a text price and lbl price then we have a stock text we are using a star you can this is nothing but an image you can right click properties set just use it as image it's just an asp image you can set it so here we have the label the label will show the product name so here we have a product table the category and products table we have already discussed the products table is having a name that name will be displayed here so this is the name so we are including that name here then we have an image the product image the image source will be eval we are using the eval function and inside that we are using the image url the image url is also there as a part of this table image url then we have the price the price is the price then the available stock we are calculating behind that logic to calculate the available stock the available stock is calculated for example the admin has entered 10 piece of laptop and 5 piece are already sold so are already sold so the only available stock will be 5 so that kind of we are doing and here also we are taking a hidden field to store the product id so i'll let you know how why we are using this so the first tr contains the label second tr contains the image the third tr contains price a star green star i've used then it contains available stock then it contains in hidden field the fourth tr contains simply contains a button and the command argument whenever user clicks on the button we need to pass something to the to the source code so that it it identifies which which product the user has clicked so for that command argument inside the command argument we are setting the product as eval product id the product id is same as the primary key which is there for products table and we are setting some border width causes validation equal to false all these properties and so this completes the entire table and we have put this table in a div which we have aligned to the left side because it makes the design look beautiful the item style we have with item style width we have set as 33 percent so 33 33 and 33 gets them to 99 percent so this was pretty simple about the design of panel products and categories the next view which we will discuss in our next video is the products in your shopping cart that is my cart and customer details so this is another view when user clicks here it shows products and categories when user goes in my cart it shows the products which are there in the cart and the customer checkout form so in part 9 we have discussed this product design for products and categories empty cart and orders place successfully panels so thank you for watching this video uh, you can subscribe our channel if you have any concerns regarding understanding this video or any other concern you can let us know through our comments we will reply to it thank you thank you so much